welcome back to Gears of War, the board game. We're playing The Showdown, and I forgot something last time, which I'm going to correct here right now. We had Marcus coming in with his chainsaw. It says, roll one additional die when using your Lancer's constant ability, which is the chainsaw ability. He used the charge, which gave him plus one die to roll five. He should have been rolling six. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll one die. And if it lands on that symbol, we'll actually have killed... The Grenadier, that if we don't roll that symbol, well, then things are the same as they are. All right, and we get a blank. So, no, nope, nothing happens. We're just, you know, he just should have had an extra die. Oh, boy, this is getting nasty. We've got the Feral Berserker in here with us. We've got to try to take him down. He can only be damaged uh, if he's fully healed with Bolo Grenades or the Scorcher. Otherwise, you can't attack him at all. And we have one Grenadier here. Ooh. Up first, Damon. They're both out of cover. We're in a bit of trouble. Damon, I think, is going to try moving over here. And I think uh, Marcus is going to discard this card to go with him. <laughs> to get out of dodge. So, uh, Marcus will discard that card. He's going to follow Damon. And they're going to get out of here. And figures don't restrict movement or whatever. Uh, so let's take a look and see what Damon's actually going to do. I don't know where he's going to move up to three areas. Ah, yes, he's going to use Assault. Uh, but of course, at the beginning of his turn, <laughs> the beginning of a or, of our, our uh, soldier's turn, they draw two cards up to their maximum hand size. He's got a hand size of six, one, two, three, four, five, so he'll only be drawing one card. So we do draw a card, and he gets charged. Move up to three areas, perform an attack against anyone in your area with plus one die. So, uh, draw your cards first, and then he's going to play one card. So he will be playing this one. Move up to three areas. We are backtracking. One, two. And Marcus is coming with him to get out of this danger zone. All right. Uh, and now Dame is down here. Let's zoom down a little bit because we've got more stuff going on. Okay, so I hope I'm getting all the rules correct. All right, so he's using the assault move up to three areas. He did that. And he's now in this location with the question mark. And uh, Marcus followed him by discarding that card. It's all good. So we're in between move up to three areas and perform one attack. So before we perform one attack, we're going to take a look at this card because it's ammunition. He's at the location with the question mark. Discard this card to gain... Up to three ammo tokens. Place those tokens on any of your weapon cards. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to discard this card. Oh, I guess. And so he's in between. He moved. And then he will be able to attack. So he's going to be able to get three ammo tokens on any of his weapon cards. Gee, I wonder what he's going to do. Oh, and normally when you activate a location like this or you pick up. Uh, weapons or ammo on the board you have to discard a card but damon has got this cool little ability here do not discard an order card from your hand to activate equipment or pick up dropped weapons and you can have five weapons so cool he doesn't even have to discard a card to pick up the three ammo let's go and put three am ammo tokens on whichever weapons not bolo grenades ammo tokens and then he still gets one attack so yeah, it only makes sense that he's going to get three ammo tokens and he's going to drop all of them on the Scorcher. Because, <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't he? Going to put them all on the Scorcher uh, because we need to use the Scorcher to attack the Feral Berserker uh, or Bolo Grenades. And speaking of Bolo Grenades, he does have one attack now. So what he's going to do for his one attack, he's going to toss a Bolo Grenade. It has a range of two rolls four dice and we can close the spawn hole if we roll the special symbol and let's see what happens with the bowl grenade so you're going to chuck that grenade into the location with the uh, feral berserker and the grenadier all right so how the bowler grenade attack works and it for look for two so none of these guys are in cover and so we just go from this space to this space it's one two away this doesn't block uh, cover just the solid black lines do so we can see from anywhere on this line to anywhere on that one so one two spaces away not a problem so damon can throw the bowler grenade how bowler grenades work is you just roll four dice and if any uh or any of the enemies were in uh cover they wouldn't get the cover bonus but they're not our grenadier is going to roll one red defense die against this attack 
and our Feral Berserker will be rolling two defense dice because that's what he has. So if we check the cards, so we see two here on the Feral Berserker, and on our Grenadier, we see only one. So that's what's happening. So let's hope we, uh, and if we can get the special symbol, uh, on any one of these dice, we're going to close that spawn hole too, which could be a good thing because then the next closest spawn hole would be over here. All right, let's hope for a good roll. Maybe tons of damage, I don't know. And then they're going to be rolling their defense separately against this green attack. All right, so we end up with a total, we didn't close the spawn hole, but we end up with a total of four hits. Okay, four hits. So for the Grenadier, uh, and the Grenadier has four health. So if he rolls nothing on defense, he's going to be killed. Come on. No. He rolls one defense. So what happens is um, uh, he's just going to be considered wounded. So he only has basically one health left. So we just stick that marker underneath him. And he has been wounded, but not taken out. Uh. All right. Four damage incoming to the Feral Berserker. He's going to be rolling two defense dice. Right? And he gets also one, so he's going to take three damage. Well, not really. He's got seven total health. Um, and so he's just going to get the first stage of the damage, which is the five. So he now has five health. And we can hit him with other weapons now because he is damaged. Cool. All right, that was uh, Damon's turn. Up next is going to be the horrible AI card. And now, yes, it is time for the lovely AI deck to hammer on us. Palace Guards. Uh, if a cog figure is within line of sight. Okay, there's no cog figure within line of sight. We've got a black wall here. Our closest palace guard is way over there. So, uh, uh, otherwise, move two areas toward the closest cog figure. Wow, and that's for each palace guard. So basically the palace guards are just moving two areas closest to uh, the nearest cog figure while they're both here. So let's zoom the camera over a little bit. Each of the palace guard is going to move two spaces towards our location here. All right, well we have a couple of palace guards. Let's move the closest one first. He's going to go one and two and he they do jump into cover so he jumps into cover there and this one is just going to go one two and he will jump into cover. All right, boom! That's it. I don't mind that. That seemed to be pretty good. All right, we are up now uh, for Marcus to take his turn. Marcus is sitting here with one, two, three, four, five cards. His special ability, well, he's got a couple special abilities. His One of them is he can have seven cards instead of six cool. So he's going to be drawing two cards and he gets to roll an additional die when using your Lancer's constant ability. Right on. And we can use it now against this guy because he's damaged. I'm going to double check the rules. So he basically draws two cards. So he draws Ambush. Right on. And he draws Teamwork. So these are the cards he has. I'm going to have to do some thinking about what we want to do and check the Feral Berserker's I do believe it's just if he's fully healed. If heavily wounded, this Locust heals back to 5 health. So he's not heavily wounded, he's partially wounded. After Cog Figure attacks, oh, oh no, hang on. After Cog Figure attacks, uh, move the one towards the uh, attack here or to where the Bowler Grenade. So he, the Bowler Grenade was thrown here so he would just stay there. So that was all good. See Mission Card for additional rules. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure uh, we'll, I'll double check that. But I do believe now we're free game to attack uh, the Feral Berserker. But I'm going to double check. All right, Marcus has a cunning plan. He's got, of course, two or seven cards. He's going to play Ambush. That's what he's going to play. Move one Locust figure up to two areas towards you. He's actually going to move the Grenadier 1-2. So he, the Grenadier moves right in here. And Marcus is going to ambush the living heck out of this guy. Uh, and then it says, then attack this Locust figure. You may treat this attack as an overkill attack without spending an ammo token. You may still need to spend a grenade token. Well, we're not using a grenade. He's just going ahead and doing that. Which is going to be awesome 
because he's just going to go ahead and use his Lancer assault rifle, but he's going to use it as a chainsaw. Uh, or is he? No, he's not. He's going to go ahead and use it just as the actual rifle. So he will be rolling four dice, uh, and if he rolls this symbol, he just deals a wound. Now remember, this guy has no cover. He only has one defense die. We're not spending an ammo token. Marcus is going to be rolling four dice against him, and we're going to see he only has one health remaining. Let's hope Marcus can take him out, and he only has one defense die to roll too. All right, here's hoping uh, that Marcus can take him out. He's going to be rolling four dice, and we're going to roll the defense die at the same time for the Grenadier. We only need to do one wound. Just one. Come on, Marcus. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh yeah, we got one, two, we got four hits, two defense, nice defense for the Grenadier, so that would knock that out. Still two damage, he only had one health remaining, and did he drop grenades? Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> nothing, nothing, but at least we took him out. He's out of here, we have no more Grenadiers on the board. We have a wounded Feral Berserker and a couple Palace Guards, and that is Marcus's turn. However, yes, indeed, we have the lovely, the ever-exciting AI card to draw. So let's, uh, let's get drawing it. What do we have for the AI card? Oh, do we even want to look at it? It is for each Grenadier. Yes. Well, maybe not, yes, because the spawn hole is right there. Oof. Okay, if a cog figures with it, no. Otherwise, move three areas, no. If no Grenadier is in play, draw another AI card. <laughs> All right, well. I shouldn't laugh because now this is probably going to be worse. Palace guards. Oh my goodness. If one or more palace guards has line of sight to a cog figure, absolutely no. Because we are both behind this black wall. Okay, otherwise, spawn one palace guard at the emergence hole nearest you. Ah, oh, come on! So we get another palace guard. And that's our third one. We only have three of these figures. So... We have our Feral Berserker, and now we have another Palace Guard has just popped his way in there. Ooh, ooh, bad news. And I do believe uh, in the essence of trying to catch errors and um, timing issues, I'm going to leave it off there for today. So I'm going to rearrange the camera, and we're going to wrap up for today's episode. All right, we got ourselves out of a hairy, hairy situation. Uh, we do now have Damon. He's got three uh, ammo on the Scorcher, which is cool. Does it attack every... Um, no, I thought was wondering if it attacks every cog figure. Bolo grenades do. He's got three bolo, or he's got one bolo grenade left as well. Darn it, the Grenadiers, both of them got killed, and not one of them dropped grenades, because it would have been so nice to get, uh, grab two extra grenades. All right, didn't happen. So thanks so much for watching along. The comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Gears of War, the board game. We're playing the second expansion scenario uh, called The Showdown. First up, we got to take out the Feral Berserker. And then we have to get through to the second level and take out General Ram, which I believe is very, very nasty. And so we got a couple Palace Guards now getting very close to us. Uh, we're going to have to do something about that. So thanks so much. And we'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of Gears of War, the board game. We're playing The Showdown.